Are you looking for the best Sony lenses? In this video we will look at some of the 4 best lenses on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Sony FE 24-70mm f 2.8G Master 2. 24-70mm is perhaps the most versatile zoom lens you can have. It goes from a solid wide angle to a short telephoto, making it a great all-arounder. That versatility earns it the top spot here. Released in June of 2022, this is Sony's second iteration of the classic 24-70mm focal length. The update came with some very worthwhile improvements, most notably the more compact size. It's 20% lighter than the first version and 16mm shorter. It's the lightest 24 to 70 millimeters available across any company. Thanks to its compact size and focal length range, it's a perfect travel lens. Sony also improved the autofocus abilities of this lens, resulting in faster and quieter focusing than the original version. That's partly thanks to the fact that it's powered by 4XD, extreme dynamic, linear motors. It'll pair perfectly with the very intelligent autofocus of Sony's cameras. Unfortunately, Sony didn't fully solve everything related to focusing. While the focus breathing, a phenomenon in which the field of view changes as you focus, has been reduced from the first version, some lingered. It's minimal, but it is something to keep in mind if you will be using this for videos. As is standard on G Master lens, it is fully weather sealed, so you won't have to worry about bringing it into tough environments. It's also made of tough polycarbonate, which helps cut down on the weight. And the included lens hood comes with the welcome addition of a sliding window, which allows you to check and adjust your circular polarizer much more easily. It's a small thing but is definitely a nice touch. Where this lens shines, of course, is its sharpness. It's supremely sharp, even edge to edge when wide open and throughout the zoom range. It really is capable of producing some spectacular images. And, thanks to the 11-blade iris diaphragm, the bokeh is very smooth and attractive. Sony also improved the close focusing of the second iteration, and you can now focus as close as just 8.3 inches. It's not a true macro lens, but you'll be able to get some nice detail shots with it. At Number 2. Sony FE 16-35mm f 2.8 GM. 16-35mm is an ideal focal length range for covering a wide range, no pun intended, of situations. It's wide enough to do interior and real estate work, but having the ability to zoom to 35mm makes it perfect for group photos and some portraiture. The fast f 2.8 aperture makes it great in low-light situations, and the 11-blade rounded aperture allows for beautifully smooth bokeh. It would be a great lens to have in your kit if you are a wedding or event photographer. The autofocus of this lens is fast and also essentially silent. That's a plus if you shoot video or will be photographing in quiet spaces like churches. Unfortunately, there are no focus or depth of field scale markings on the lens, which means you can't focus at a specific distance as easily. But, there is a focus hold button on the lens body. It's a customizable button as well, should you want to use it for something else. The lens can focus as close as 11 inches. It's no macro, but it does mean you can take some nice detail shots with good background separation, especially thanks to the f 2.8 aperture. And, because of the high resolution of this lens, those detail shots, and anything else, of course, will be remarkably clear and sharp. It's even sharp when wide open, which isn't typically the case. It is a heavy lens for this focal length, and there are lighter and more compact options out there. If you don't mind losing a stop of aperture, Sony's own 16-35mm Vario Tessor TFAF 4ZA OSS weighs and costs about half as much. At Number 3. Sony FA 70-200mm f 2.8 GM OSS lens. 70-200mm is another one of those classic focal lengths, especially for anyone who takes portraits or photographs weddings. It's an ideal range that allows for subtle telephoto action and pretty significant magnification in the same lens. This is Sony's second iteration of this focal length, released in October 2021, and it has some big improvements. One of the most helpful things was the reduction in size compared to its predecessor. 
telephoto lenses are not light pieces of kit, so anything companies can do to shave off weight is welcome. At 2.3 pounds, the updated version of the 70 to 200 millimeters is a full pound lighter than the original. That will make a significant difference if you are holding this lens for a full day of shooting. The lens now has fully internal zoom, so you won't have to compensate for any additional length when zooming in. The internal zoom makes it well balanced, which makes for better handling. An aperture ring has been added to the lens, which you can declick for silent operation. And it has a focus limiter, which is ideal for situations where you roughly know the distance your subject will be. A big area of focus for Sony on this lens was the autofocus system, which it significantly improved. It is now powered by 4 XD linear motors, which Sony says allows it to focus four times faster. It can track subjects at 20 or 30 frames per second, so if you are using the A1, the lens can keep up. Focus is also silent, perfect for video work. This lens's improvements specific to video were also crucial since Sony has geared its cameras towards hybrid shooters. As a result, focus breathing was drastically reduced, a linear response MF system was added, and it has full-time instant manual focus override for when you need to fine-tune focus quickly. At number 4. Sony FE 90mm f 2.8 Macro GOSS Macro photography requires specific skills and gear to get right. One of these tools is a dedicated macro lens. In order to be a true macro lens, some is labeled as such but don't meet this qualification it must provide 1x, also called 1 colon 1, or great magnification. Luckily, this Sony lens ticks that box. The 90mm focal length helps with macro photography, as you can keep some distance and prevent your shadow from casting onto the subject. It also provides better depth of field. This macro lens shines most in regards to its autofocus. It is incredibly accurate, which is essential when the spot you are focusing on is potentially only a fraction of an inch. It's also fast, thanks to Sony's use of its direct drive supersonic wave motor. Should you need even more autofocus speed, there's a focus limiter with three ranges between 11 to 19.7 inches, 19.7 inches to infinity, or full. That keeps it from searching for focus where you know you don't need it. Lastly, it's silent, making it suitable for macro videos. Should you want to switch to manual focus for extra precision and creative control, Sony made it easy on this lens. Simply slide the focus ring forward or back to switch. Other mirrorless lenses that rely on focus by wire can be a bit challenging to manually focus as it isn't very repeatable and there aren't typically focus distance markings. Sony kept the focusing distance and magnification scale on the lens and used hard stops on the focus ring at either end. It's also more exact than manually focusing with other mirrorless lenses. Overall it will allow you to be really precise with your macro images or videos.